In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take a still image and attach it to something that's moving in a video so that it flows or moves in alignment with that object on your video in your final production in CyberLink PowerDirector. This comes as a result of a question I have from one of my subscribers who said they have an object on the screen, it's moving, and they wanted to attach an object to it that was a still image. Let me show you how to do that. We have a video here of a Jeep riding on a beach, and let's say we want to attach an ad for a newer vehicle to this picture. The first step I need to take is to click on the video itself and click on Tools and then choose Motion Tracker. I'm going to remove the tracker from before and we'll start as though it's blank. I'll click on Add a Tracker and then we'll decide what we want to track. I'm going to track the blue area in the middle of the front bumper. And that will be my tracker area. Then all I need to do is click on Track and it will start my tracking process. And when it goes out of frame, I'll turn it off. Okay, there's my tracking. And now what I need to do is pay attention to step three. We have three buttons. I can add a title text. I can add an effect. Or I can actually add an image pip object or video clip. Let's do image. I'll click on the middle button. And then it says, where do I want my media from? I'll click on Import Media Clip, and we'll import, in this case, from the Media Room. If I want to, I can import from any part in my hard drive that I want to, any directory I want to navigate to, but I have my video in the Media Room. I'll click there, and we'll click on this picture of a car ad, and click on OK. If I want to, I can add a border around it. I'll do that. The default is white. We can make it any color we want to. Uh, let's do something more in the yellow gold range. I'll click on that and click on OK. Now I have an image with a border, but it's not the size or location I want. Now if I want to adjust the distance with a tracked object, I can do that. That's by default. Or I can adjust the size with the tracked object, which means as it gets closer to the camera, the size of the image will increase. We'll leave it at the defaults for now. And I'm going to move the playhead back to the beginning. And the image is too small to be very useful here, so I'm going to make it bigger. And we're going to advertise this other vehicle you might like instead of the one we see here. And I'll start putting it to the right a little bit off the screen. And we'll play it in the preview screen. And you see basically now we have this ad riding along the sand along with the vehicle. And so we'll click on OK. And when we look at our timeline, we see that our image is here. It's been tracked. It's added all the keyframes necessary for it to work alongside of the image of the vehicle on the sand. We'll play it. And we see the same thing we saw a few moments ago in that preview screen where it tags along and gives us a nice little feature where we're promoting a vehicle instead of the rusty one you see on the beach. So that's a very interesting way to use the motion tracker along with a still image to track something that's moving in a video clip in CyberLink PowerDirector.